In part one of our lesson on trigonometric functions of non-acute angles, we're going to learn about reference angles. Now the symbol we'll use for reference angle is theta r, and it is the acute angle formed between the terminal side of theta and the nearest x-axis. Now we know acute means it's going to be between 0 and 90 degrees. We know what the terminal side of an angle is and we look for the part of the x-axis that is nearest to that terminal side. In this first example we have to find the reference angle for theta is 207 degrees. So the first thing we'll want to do is draw theta which we know lands in quadrant 3. Make sure you indicate the rotation. Now we know theta r will be the acute angle formed between the terminal side of theta, which is right here, and the nearest x-axis, which is right here. So we can indicate that in our picture. This is theta r. And to calculate theta r, we're going to subtract 207 degrees minus 180 degrees, and we find out that theta r is equal to 27 degrees. In this next example, we have to find the reference angle for theta is equal to 280 degrees. Let's check your understanding. So pause the video, work the example on your own, then restart the video to check your answer. So as before, the first step is to draw the angle in standard position and we know that 280 degrees is going to fall in quadrant number 4. Remember to put in the rotation. Now it's very important to refer back to the definition of theta r and remember that theta r has to go between the terminal side of the angle and the nearest x-axis. So theta r will be this angle, and to calculate theta r, we're going to do 360 degrees minus 280 degrees, and we find out that theta r is equal to 80 degrees. Now on this problem, some students make the mistake of measuring the reference angle to the y-axis. So if you did that on this one, it's a good time to remind yourself to avoid that common error. The reference angle is always measured to the nearest x-axis. It is never measured to the y-axis. In this next example, we're told that the terminal side of theta lies in quadrant 2, and we have to find theta r, the reference angle. So if we start off by drawing an angle in quadrant 2, we know that this will be theta. We don't know the measure of theta, but we do know that we have to find the reference angle which goes between the terminal side of theta and the nearest x-axis. So that means this will be our reference angle. And to find that angle, we're simply going to subtract 180 degrees minus theta.